Let's practice using the division standard algorithm together. In each of these problems, we're going to be finding the quotient of the given values, which is the answer to a division problem. I encourage you to grab some paper, something to write with, and let's do some math together. In number one, we have 174 divided by two. So we're going to take this 174. That's going to be our dividend. That's going to go inside the division house. Our divisor is going to be two. That's going to go on the left side here. So first, we're going to see how many times does two fit into one. Two fits into one zero times. So we can either put a zero above this one or we can just leave it blank. I'm going to put a zero here. And then after that, we're going to see how many times does two fits into 17. Two fits into 17, it looks like eight times without going over. So I'm going to go ahead and put an eight up here. If we were to put nine, that would bring us to uh, 18, which is too much. So let's take this eight, multiply by two. That's going to be 16. If we get the 16 here, let's see how much we were off by. So our remainder here, 17 minus 16, is going to be one. And that's going to be where we're at so far. Now we're going to just going to go ahead and bring down this four and repeat the process again. So let's go ahead and see how many times this two fits into 14. Looks like two times seven would be 14, right? Two times seven is exactly 14. So we can go ahead and subtract this and see that we have a remainder of zero here. So our quotient or the answer to this division problem is going to be 87. Let's try another one together. In number two, we have 392 divided by four. So this 392 is going to be our dividend. I'm going to kind of put this inside the division house. And then that four is going to be the divisor. So it's going to go on the left side here. So let's see, how many times does four fit into three? Uh, it doesn't fit in, or at, fit, at least we can say it fits in zero times. So go ahead and put a zero there. And then uh, let's go ahead and see how many times does four fit into 39? Well, I know four times 10 is going to be 40, so that's too much. So four times nine is going to be 36. So I'm going to go ahead and put a nine here. Nine times four is 36. That's the most amount of times we can fit in without going over. So 39 minus 36, nine minus six is going to be three. Then three minus three is zero. Next, let's go ahead and take this two and bring it down to join that three to make it a 32 and repeat the process. So how many times does four fit into 32? I think four times eight is exactly 32. So we're going to put an eight up here because it fits in eight times. Eight times four is 32. And we can see here we got a remainder here of zero. So the quotient to this problem or the answer is going to be 98. Here's number three. In number three, we have 2,190 divided by five. So let's go ahead and put our dividend inside this division house here. So I'm gonna put this 2,190 on the inside. Five is our divisor, that's gonna go over here. Now, how many times does five fit into two? Fits in zero times, let's go ahead and put a zero on top of there. And let's move over and see how many times five fits into 21. Well, I know five times four is 20, and I don't think I can fit it again. So we're gonna put a four on top, that's how many times it fits in. So four times five is 20. And we were pretty close to 21, we're just off by one. So if we subtract here, we do get one for the remainder. Now let's go ahead and bring this nine down so that this one is now a 19 and repeat the process. So how many times does five fit into 19? Well, five times three is 15, right? And five times four is 20, so that's too much. So let's go with a three here. So five times three is gonna be 15. So we're gonna go and see how far we were off by. We were off by four, and so that's our remainder. Now we can go ahead and just bring this zero down and have that zero join the four to make it 40 and repeat this process, I think one more time here. So five into 40, how many times? Well, five times eight is exactly 40. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an eight here. Five times eight is 40. And we can see here that we have a remainder of zero. So the quotient in this division problem is gonna be 438. All right, here is number four. In number four, we have 2,178 divided by three. So let's see, our dividend is going to be this 2178, I'm going to put that inside that house, and our divisor is this three here. So how many times does three fit into two? Well, it's not gonna fit in a whole number of times, we're gonna put a zero. Now let's repeat the process here, except let's use the one. So how many times does three fit into 21? Well, three times seven is exactly 21, so that's gonna work out nicely. So put a seven up here. Seven times three is 21, and we're gonna see if we subtract here, the remainder is zero. All right, let's go ahead and bring the seven down and repeat the process. Now, now let's see how many times this three fits into seven. I think two threes gets you six and that's as close to seven as we can go. So let's go ahead and put a two here. So two of these threes gets you six, we just said. And so we were off by one. Now we still have a number to bring down here. So this eight's gonna join this one to make 18. I'm gonna repeat this process. So three into 18, well I know three times five is 15 and three times six is 18, exactly. So let's go ahead and put a six up here. And six times three is 18. And you can see our remainder here is zero. 
The answer to this problem, or the quotient, is going to be 726. All right, here is number five. All right, in this division problem, it looks like we have a slightly bigger dividend, so I'm gonna make a longer division house. So I'll put one, one, four, one, two inside that division house. That's a dividend and our divisor is two. That one's not too bad. So let's go and start with this two fitting into one. Two is bigger than one, so it doesn't fit a whole number of times. Let's put a zero here. How many times does two fit into 11? Well, two times five is 10, and two times six is 12, which is too much, so let's go with five. Five times two is going to be 10 and we were off by one. So the remainder here, 11 minus 10 is gonna be one. Let's go ahead and bring this four down and repeat the process. So now we have 14. So how many times does two fit into 14? I think it's gonna be seven times because seven times two is exactly 14. So I'm gonna put a seven on top. Seven times two is 14. We were off by nothing because we hit that number right on. And so let's put a zero there for the remainder and then bring down this one. All right, so we gotta repeat the process. How many times does two fit into one? If it's in zero times, so be careful and actually put a zero up here, zero times that two is going to be zero. And you can see that we have a remainder of one again. Let's go ahead and bring down this two and repeat this process one more time, I think. So we have a 12. And so how many times does two fit into 12? I think that's going to be six because six times two is exactly 12. So six times two is 12. You can see the remainder here is going to be zero. So the quotient here is going to be 5,706. All right, here is number six. In number six, we have 46,123 divided by seven. So let's go ahead and set up our division house here. This, we have a bigger uh, dividend as well. So I'm gonna put four, six, one, two, three inside this division house and our divisor is seven. All right, let's start with seeing how many times seven fits into four. It doesn't fit in a whole number of times because seven is bigger than four, put a zero. And so let's join uh, this uh, six and four together to make 46. So how many times does seven fit into 46? Well, seven times five is 35, seven times six is 42, seven times seven is 49, so that's too much. Let's go with six here. If we put a six, six times seven is going to be, we just said 42. Let's go ahead and see how far we were off by. So six minus two is going to be four and four minus four is zero. So the remainder is four here. Let's go ahead and take this one and bring it down. So it's now 41. How many times does seven fit into 41? Well, I think seven times five is 35. Seven times six would be too much, right? That's 42. So let's go with a five here. Five multiplied by seven is going to be 35. And it looks like this remainder here, if we subtract, is going to be six. Let's go ahead and take this two and bring it down and repeat the process, but now we have a 62 down here. So how many times does seven fit into 62? Well, seven times seven I know is 49, seven times eight is 56, seven times nine is 63, which is just a little bit too much. So, so let's go ahead and put an eight up here. Eight times seven is going to be 56. And if we take this 62 and subtract 56, we're gonna be left with, it looks like six here. All right, uh, let's bring down one more number, repeat the process, let's bring down this three. This is now 63 at the bottom, so how many times does seven fit into 63? Well, seven times 10 is 70, which is too much. So let's go ahead and take away seven and do seven times nine. Seven times nine is exactly 63. You can see here we have a remainder of zero. So our quotient here is going to be 6,589. Here's number seven. In number seven, we have 5,520 divided by 15. Now, if this is the first problem where we have a divisor that is double digits, so we may not be able to just use our multiplication facts as well, but hopefully 15 is not too bad of a divisor. But uh, we probably don't know our 15 times tables as well, so I'll write some work on the side if that helps. So first, let's just see uh, how many times does 15 fit into five? Well, it's bigger than it. So just like we've been doing earlier, we're gonna say it doesn't fit in a whole number of times. Now, 15 into 55, Let's think about our 15 times tables. I'll do this on the side here. But if we go ahead and say that uh, 15 times, let's go with three maybe to start with, because I know 15 times two is 30. So that's gonna be, uh, let's see, a five and a one. So 15 times three is 45. And I know that's 10 away from 55, so I don't think it's gonna fit in a whole number of times again, but let's just go ahead and show it to be sure. So 15 times four is going to be, let's put a zero and a two. Four times one is four plus two is six, so that's 60, so that's too much. So let's go with three here. Three times 15 is going to be 45. You can see here we were off by 10, which we just kind of confirmed a moment ago. Now that we have a remainder of 10, let's go ahead and bring this two down and repeat the process. So now we have 102, right? So let's see how many times 15 fits into 102. 
Uh, we know it's definitely more than three and four. Let's try 15 times, I don't know, maybe something like seven. 15 times seven, that's gonna be five times seven is 35, carry the three. Seven times one is seven plus the three is 105. So it's off by just a little bit, it's a little bit too much. So let's do 15 times six here. 15 times six, well, six times five is gonna be 30, put the zero, carry the three. Six times one is six plus the three is gonna be nine. So this is gonna be 90. I'm gonna go ahead and put a six up here. Six times the uh, 15 we just said is 90. Let's go ahead and write that underneath the 102. If you subtract here, two minus zero is gonna be two. And then that 10 minus nine is gonna be one, so we're off by 12. Let's go ahead and bring the zero down, repeat this process hopefully just one more time here. So 15 into 120. Well, we already know 15 times seven is 105, so we have to go a little higher here. So maybe 15 times eight is the uh, number we're looking for. So uh, eight times five is 40, carry the four. Eight times one is eight, plus the four is gonna be 12. So it's exactly 120. So. So let's go ahead and put an eight up here in our quotient. Eight times 15 here, we just said it's 120, which is perfect because we have a remainder now of zero. So our quotient here is gonna be 368. All right, let's try just one more practice problem here. In this problem, we have 6,396 divided by 12. So our dividend here is going to be this uh, 6,396, and we're gonna see how many times 12 fits into this. That's our divisor. So. How many times does 12 fit into six? Uh, fits in zero times, uh, zero whole times at least, right? And then uh, 12 into 63. So let's think about our 12 times tables or just write it on the side here. Uh, let's see, I'll start with maybe 12 multiplied by uh, five, 12 times five. Let's see, five times two is 10, carry the one, that's gonna be 60. So I don't think we're gonna be able to fit it anymore. So let's go with a five up here. Five times 12 is 60. We only have three left here, it looks like, so that is good to go. This remainder always has to be less than the divisor. Let's go ahead and bring this nine down and repeat the process. So now it's 12 into 39. Let's go with 12 times three. Let's see on the side here. Uh, three times two is six, and then three times one is three, so that's 36. I think that's as close as we can get, right? Let's put a three here. Three times 12 is 36 and 39 minus 36 is gonna be three. Let's go ahead and take this six and bring it down and repeat this process again. Uh, it looks like 36 is the number we were just looking at, so this is gonna be another three. Three times 12 we just said is 36, so we know the remainder here is gonna be zero, and that's perfect. So our quotient for this last problem is gonna be 533. All right, so there you have eight different practice problems on practicing doing some long division using the standard algorithm. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing with a classmate or friend who might also find it helpful. And as always, keep it the great work that you're already doing.